this video we're going to take a quick look at the light dependent resistor so it's in the name light dependent resistor the resistance changes based on how much light is falling on it so this is my lamp at a low light level I'll turn it up and you can see we got it brighter the light dependent resistor is conducting better now we're going to make it so it doesn't conduct hardly at all I'm going to take this alligator clip cover and cover it up and it'll get really dark now we're in the millions of ohms before we were in the thousands there you can see mega right there and I can cover it even more to go up uh, but when I remove it now you can see we're back to the kilo ohms thousands of ohms right there now we can do the uh, other extreme my headlamp here is as bright as I can get and uh, sunlight's probably the uh, absolute brightest you can get but uh, there you can see we can get the resistance down uh, really far and now I got a better light on there we're down to about 60 ohms right there. We're getting close to zero ohms. A really useful way to use this variable resistance is to wire it as a variable voltage divider. So we already saw we got somewhere about 5,000 ohms at this light level. So I have a 4,700 ohm resistor here, light pen resistor going to the positive rail, and uh, the fixed resistor, 4,700 ohms to the negative rail. So we got a voltage divider and uh, Light dependent resistor is on the high side right here. So when it gets brighter, the voltage is going to go up since it's on the high side. And uh, there you can see it uh, went up. Hopefully that didn't wash wash out. I'll uh, cover it like that. There you can see it uh, pretty easily there. And if we get it dark enough, then the uh, voltage drops down to almost nothing. So again, you don't power stuff with these you use this as a signal voltage just like it is telling the uh, oscilloscope the voltage the it's not powering the oscilloscope just letting it know and the oscilloscope is responding accordingly finally we have the light dependent resistor on the low side still a voltage divider with the same resistance there and you can see that uh, with this light level we're close to about two and a half looks like we're a little closer to three this time we're using a five volt power supply by the way that's why it went up to five volts and dropped to zero but in any case now that we're on the low side we're gonna have the opposite effect if we get the uh, bright light on it and uh, there you go hopefully that didn't uh, disturb the oscilloscope too much but uh, the voltage went down as you can see there and if uh, we get it darker now since it's on the low side that means the voltage is going to rise up like that. So hopefully you can see that uh, plenty fine. And uh, so in any case, that's really about it for the light dependent resistor, at least for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But watching videos helps a ton. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.